about 85 degrees out. Um, I think there's something wrong with the hygrometer. Hasn't moved. It's it's not 84 percent humidity. I can tell it isn't. The sky is just vivid blue, and I'm not sweating my ass off. So it, it's not that humid out. Probably about 40, 50 percent. This guy's probably getting a bit too big. Oh, there's a lizard. Yeah, he's dancing. <laughs> I have a lot of them, by the way. There's Papa. He's leaning towards the sun. Um, south is approximately that way. So, of course, the sun kind of goes up over here, kind of goes up, and it's just past the roof there right now. This right here. It's just sitting there. I don't know. I think it's just a bad seed or something. And these spiders are just kind of hanging out, not really doing much. They'll pop in a month or two. This is what's left of actually the more emaciated rose bush. It's not doing anything, but it hasn't died. It has a little rose bud on it. It's kind of neat. I don't give up totally on a plant unless it's, I, I can tell it's totally dead. Amazing thing here is I have some aloes, right? And even the little babies, well, these were half the size when I pulled them out. They have little shoots coming out of them too. Look at this one. This is what they're supposed to do naturally. And uh, thing, it, it's, it's actually, they're not hard to grow here. Um, geez, I'm at seven minutes already. That's crazy. But I'm almost done. More Spider plants, salvia, starting to take off now finally. This guy went boom in about a week. They, they seem to have a little cool down period with whatever soil I'm using because I'm just using a mixture of what I buy at the store and what's in that bucket there. That's my compost bucket. And they, they take a little bit, but once they uh, kind of take hold, they get really happy and uh, they go nuts. And I just heard another squirrel. Philodendron starting to uh, shed some of those old leaves. Old leaves. And new ones are coming up in there. Pretty much stopped vining. I'm sure I'll get more shoots off of there. It's probably root bound <laughs> by now. But um, yeah, that's it. I'm at eight minutes and I'm gonna try to piece all this stuff together and maybe some other time. I want to feature him right there. I want to do a video on him. But I also want to do some other videos that um, may not necessarily have to do with gardening. Um, I want to showcase some of my photography, some of my 3D artwork. Um, you can see some of that if you go way back on my page. Uh, since I forgot to mention this, uh, so heck with it. I'm just going to do two parts. Uh, so this will be part of the part two. Um, yeah, check this guy out. Um, so sweet peppers. I don't know what happened to that guy. Um, probably pulled close to a dozen off of here so far. It's about to flower again. Um, it's a little wilted right now because it's dry. Everything is dry out here. And I've been dealing with this all summer too, but you know, at least it's it's a little tough right now because this is dry season. It's still really warm out. It's kind of um how do I say it? it it's it's a sweet spot for certain plants, but at the same time, they need a lot of water. Um, I actually haven't been running this system this year at all, except for when I went on vacation. And I had mixed results with it, but again, we had a very, very bad summer season. And I ended up lo losing plants uh, in spite of using the irrigation system. Uh, it's, a, it's a really cheap one, uh, not to say it's bad, it, it works really well. And pretty much everything out here, uh, with the exception of 
these two beds here. Um, it's it's all set up. It's all set up for irrigation. Even this over here, it's all set up. I bought a lot of um, drip irrigation equipment too along the way. And uh, if you notice, I don't have those bottles up there anymore. And I said I was going to put up some new ones. Um, not exactly the best time of year to test it out. We're not going to get any rain. It's it's bad. You know, this is this is Florida. It's like it's feast or famine. Like you know, usually in the summertime rains every single day. Um, may only rain for five or ten minutes. It'll come down in buckets, but it's supposed to rain every single day. And once you get past September into October, the rain stops. It just completely stops. And the other thing I wanted to say is, uh, you know, people have been mentioning um, hot and dry. This summer, very hot, very dry, but this is not a dry climate, typically. Um, I, I live in Zone 9 in the U.S., and, uh, you know, it, it, it means I can grow a lot of stuff. Here comes my little guy. He's coming back. He's very brave. This one's very brave. I think that's the one. But I left some vittles for him over there. So, he might come over. Come on. Stop staring at that. Come on over here. Oh, okay. He'll be back. I'll go inside, come back out, and I'll open the door, and he'll be at the bowl. Eventually, I plan on uh, maybe just having him hang out with me, because uh, I got no friends. Well, that's not true. I got friends, just most of them are online. <laughs> I'm nocturnal. You know, <laughs> vampires don't have friends. <laughs> I'm not really a vampire, but anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm not I'm not in a hot zone per se. I'm not in a dry zone. Um, I'm in a subtropical climate. So the stuff that you saw this summer is completely abnormal. Um, but anything that can tolerate a drought and heat, um, hello. It's an arid climate plant. There are actually a lot out here in Florida, but you have to do certain things. He's in that position. That's the best position he can be in right now. If you put him in direct sunlight and you have high humidity, he just turns to mush. What he'll do is he'll turn red. Okay, some of these are turning red down here. That guy right there is kind of turning red. That's kind of what you don't want. Um, you, see, you see aloes on like on the web, pictures of aloes, and uh, they're not quite so green, but the, you see them in like these huge bunches, and that's what they do, they just they just bunch out. Um, mine just kind of grow like this because I, I take the plugs out. I'll explain that a little bit, you know, in another video. I'm already at seven minutes again, but they're actually really easy to transplant. You just have to, uh, they, they have very shallow roots, and they spread out. You know, they're like the trees here, like the live oaks. They don't go very deep because they don't have to go deep. They spread. Pretty much everything around here does that, you know, because you go a few, like, you go a foot down. I mean, I think it's out here. It's all sand. Everything's sand here. You go down about a foot or so, you hit clay. Um, not very good growing conditions for a lot of things. So, you know, I get everything going against me, but... Uh, still, still, I managed to, to do some stuff here.